suddenly falls into place. Everything starts to make sense. You suddenly have a reason and a purpose for life. You suddenly have energy. You have things to fight for. You have things to achieve. You, you suddenly see who the good guys are and the bad guys are. All right. But what type of person is so needy for a guru? What type of person is so needy for someone to lay a quilt of, of meaning over American national politics so that you impute far more meaning into politics than is really there? Right? American politics, in the words of Tom Wolfe, is like a freight train going down a track. And people to the right of the track will have complaints, and people to the left of the track will have complaints, but it won't really change the freight train. It's just going down, down the track. And 99% of the time, right, it's not going to matter to your real life, whether it's Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Donald Trump, or Joe Biden, who's president of the United States. But if that reality is too humdrum and boring, you need something more exciting to transport you out of the reality of the frustrations of your quotidian existence, then you're going to turn to someone who makes an offer of, I will, I will share with you what's really going on, right? I will, I will give you the secrets of, of what's really driving the national conversation, right? I will help you discern what, what's right and what's wrong which is really what Ricardo here is alluding to. And he's saying, ah, you know, I get frustrated because I, essentially he's not stating this, but I get frustrated because, you know, one time I think, you know, this person is really opening my eyes to what's going on. And then it turns out that what they said is flawed. And so another commentator comes along and I feel like, ah, oh, this person, he really gets what, what's going on. But then that person turns out to be flawed. But it all comes from the same needy place of needing someone to come along and lay a quilt of meaning over the world around me, to enlist me essentially in some kind of war to give my life you know, greater significance than, than it has in my, my daily tasks and responsibilities. Like someone, right, I'm not married, I, I don't have kids, but I have a moderate amount of responsibilities. I have various volunteer organizations that I contribute to. I play an important role in, in some individual's lives. But if that's not enough for me, right, I'm gonna be incredibly excited by someone coming along and saying, look, there's a b war going on for the soul of America, for the future of America. America is in peril, and America needs you, 40, right? And I want you to join the, the Prager Force today so that we can take back this country, right? If I'm lacking in my life, if I need to believe in things that aren't there because the quotidian reality of my daily life is just too depressing for me, then I'm going to be vulnerable to all these smooth talkers who come along. So what Ricardo's People like Ricardo, I don't want to pick on my friend Ricardo, what people like Ricardo are really saying is the quotidian nature of my reality is not enough for me. It's leaving me frustrated, incredibly frustrated and lacking. I just, there's something that's not really working in my life. I need more. I need something grander. I need something more exciting. I need something transcendent. I need something to transport me out of the mundane nature of my reality. And here comes a Richard Spencer, a Nick Fuentes, a Luke Ford, a Jordan Peterson, a Donald Trump, uh, this preacher, this priest, this, this rabbi. Right? They offer a recipe for meaning and purpose, which brings with it excitement and clarity and strength.